What's going on guys? Welcome back to Flix Talk Podcast, back with another movie review. This time for the movie Stuber, which came out July 12th, 2019. It is rated R, it does star Dave Batista and Kumal Nanjiani. And this film is directed by Michael Douse, who also directed Goon and Take Me Home Tonight. Now guys, before I get into the plot of this whole movie, I gotta definitely say this is up there for my top comedies of 2019 so far. You guys can take that one to the bank. I was laughing from beginning to end. I was watching it with a friend. He he was busting up laughing. It was just a good overall time and I think the trailers are very deceptive because when you're given this first look at these two characters on screen it looks very very toned down it looks kind of silly and goofy but when you're actually at the theater watching this movie in its entirety it is a little more extreme and rated R than they have you to believe. Alright that being said we have Dave Batista playing Vic Manning now his character is someone who is a renegade rebel cop someone that's always kicking ass before he calls for backup and you could tell he definitely has a lot of rage inside and he puts his job before for his family. So through a series of hilarious and unfortunate events he is unable to see Hence why he has to call himself an Uber, and the Uber driver is played by Stu. So Vic Manning ultimately kidnaps Stu and forces them to kind of be his driver throughout the course of this whole day and night, and it's just a hilarious situation. Of course, Vic Manning is trying to get his perp from point A to point B, and it's just kind of all over the city of LA with Stu along for the ride. So it's just a hilarious exchange of all this witty conversation. These guys are from two different worlds, obviously. One's a meathead, the other one's a dweeb who's like, trying to get this girl that she's obviously friend zoning them. So they're definitely clashing when it comes to talking to each other about certain things because it's totally unrelatable what they're both going through. But ultimately as the movie progresses, there's a good kind of buddy cop lethal weapon dynamic in this film, even a rush hour vibe, what have you, kind of watching this movie. So if you guys are fans of movies like that, I think you guys are gonna find this one very, very entertaining and fun. Now, someone that I didn't even know that was in this movie was Eco Uias. Now I saw him recently recently from Triple Threat that was kind of a limited release that I did check out and he's always someone that's been kicking ass since the Raid movies you guys know him from the Raid 1 and 2 he is the leading man in that film and he's kicking ass once again as the villain in this film so it's a really cool character they show he doesn't have much screen time as far as talking goes but definitely when the martial arts kicks in you can see even as a small guy he's able to take on Batista just hand-to-hand -hand combat and it was awesome to see now another fresh face in front of the camera at least for me was Nicole played by Natalie Morales now she does play Batista's daughter and uh, I really haven't seen her in anything but I thought she was a pretty cool witty character almost like a female version of Stu and even their interaction is really really funny because they can relate to why the dad Dave Batista's character Vic Manning is so crazy and it's just a really really cool exchange when it shows them both on camera and another side character was Angie played by Mira Sorvino now at first I didn't even know this was Mira Sorvino she looks so different maybe a couple facelifts or face jobs but yeah she really shouldn't have done that because she is almost like unrecognizable now to me but Mira Sorvino is a character in here she actually plays Vic Manning's boss kind of on the upper level she's the one kind of calling the shots you know in the department that he's running and once again like I said he always goes Maverick Renegade she's always telling him to fall back but there's actually a bigger reason for her character without getting into spoiler territory so she does play a pivotal plot in the movie another funny side character was this guy Richie played by Jimmy Tatro now I haven't seen him at all whatsoever but it was so fun to see him on screen because this guy has almost like a Jim Carrey rubber face in his expressions and I thought his exchange back and forth he does play Stu's boss at this kind of like a sporting goods store that he works at during the day before he goes out and does his uber drives but their exchange back and forth I thought was actually really really funny and it's always this subtle kind of dialogue and just the wording between both of them that makes this movie really really humorous and makes you chuckle seconds later after they say it so unfortunately guys the critics at Rotten Tomatoes gave this a 47% and the people over at IMDb gave it a 6.0 out of 10. To me, that's completely off. I mean, you're there to kind of enjoy yourself, have fun. You're not looking for any realism when you check yourself into a movie about a kidnapped Uber driver. I mean, it's more on the comedic effect, obviously. It's not dramatic at all. I mean, there are situations that are definitely very, very serious, but for the most part, it's a chuckle, clumsy comedy, and I thought it fit well together from beginning to end, like I said. There wasn't really much downtime. There was a couple of scenes that could have been trimmed for sure, but that does 
does not deflect really from my score because I thought everyone involved was funny or they had a purpose for being there. I thought when it came to the action scenes, there was a lot of action scenes, guys, especially in the trailer when they show that car chase about him talking about throwing that propane tank and blowing it up like in Jaws. So that being said, guys, my final star rating for Stuber was... Please be a five star ride. Sorry, Stu, I gotta give you a four star out of this one right here, buddy. But don't worry, your score is still solid and strong. So that's my review on Stuber, guys. Make sure you guys check it out if you guys are a fan of comedies like this. If you guys did appreciate this review, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe and bell notification to always get notified about content like this. And make sure you guys are following me on my social medias on Twitter and Instagram at Flix Talk Podcast. I'll put all that information in the description below. All right, guys, till next time, I'm gone. Peace.